Hello everyone, this is Harley from Garden FL, and today we are going to be planting out so many tropical fruit trees. So I'm just going to show you what I have to plant out. So right here in the front of my property in Punta Gorda, I am planting out a bunch of uh, tropical fruit trees. This is a jackfruit. This is a Toni Morrison red jackfruit. Now the inside is sort of red to oranges, but it's a very good jackfruit. It's grafted. So this is going to go right here in the front where it gets excellent sun. It's going to be a nice tree. Right next to it, right here, I'm planting uh, wax jambu, Thai wax jambu. Now this is actually the green long variety. So I really can't wait for this one. It's gonna go really beautiful and nice right here. And just to the right of it is, uh, which is, I believe, a lemon meringue mango. And these mango is a pretty thick already. Or it needs to be put in the ground. So it's gonna, once it goes in, it should go nice uh, come springtime. And as you see right there, just all the other mangoes. Now I'm actually planting out so much other mangoes today too. So I'm just gonna show you a few varieties that I'm planting out. This is a sugar loaf. A sugar loaf is a very good mango. I actually haven't tried it, but uh, people say it literally tastes just like a, it, it says sugar a loaf of sugar because it's so sweet. Uh, just to the right of it, I'm planting. This is, I believe, sweet tart. Yeah, sweet tart mango and. Another very good mango. It's very, it's a pretty tart mango. This one I have tried and I actually uh, like it very much. Now on my property, as you see, there's another lychee, but I'm also gonna uh, plant some things right here. I actually have some sugar cane growing here very nicely. Uh, a few other sugar cane, different varieties. And, um, so just, you know, I'm, I'm kind of working the front of my property, making it look very nice. There's just uh, beautiful fruit trees. Right here is a uh, Indian gooseberry, also known as groseja in my country and also I'm actually going to Colombia in two days so I'm going to be recording and showing you guys all the fruit trees on my farm in Colombia so if you guys didn't know I actually have a farm in Colombia as well and uh, this is um, M4 mango I believe but that one is already planted let me show you the ones I'm planting over here uh, that's, these are different varieties of mangoes over here is where I'm planting some good ones so this one's on the floor but you, as you see I got these from my friend Leaf this is a lemon zest beautiful mango it just needs to be in the ground but it's uh as you see it's overgrown for the pot and it just keeps falling down but let's set it up right there right behind it i have the uh, sugar loaf not sugar loaf i mean raw honey now raw honey is one i haven't tried but i hear very good things about i believe it's a newer uh variety of mango raw honey as you see it's a very good size already it's in a seven gallon and this is just planted against, uh, planted next to my other Thai mangoes. And so these are my other mangoes back here. And I recently just planted some bananas, but I'm going to be planting more bananas. This is Huamoa. That's a Vietnamese banana from my friend Lee from West Palm Beach. And those are all tall namwas planted all on there. But here's something I noticed is we have a strawberry fruit from a strawberry tree. Mmm. Very good. I don't see any more. This tree is very young, so it still has a while to go. All right, everyone. So it took me a day to finish actually everything that I was gonna plant. I actually still have more, but I won't have time to finish it. So let me show you what exactly I did to the front of my property. So in the very front, as you can see, I finished up the coconut rose. So previously I had put this in the front and it extends all the way right here. Now this is the pathway. So my driveway would not be driving up, but as you see, I was able to finish it. These are also the green Malaysian dwarf coconut. Very healthy, like pushing out new growth already. And very beautiful, you know, I can't wait. These will be fruiting in about two to three years, I believe. So, you know, and they put a really uh, nice spread, so it's gonna be uh, nice privacy. And I still have room to add one more. So <laughs> I have more back there, I have about eight more. Uh, but let me show you guys what I did. So this is first a mango row, one mango row I added. Now these are more mature mangoes. Um, here are the varieties, pineapple pleasure, beautiful mango now these mangoes are just needed to be put planted in the ground and they were in like seven gallons and uh, 15 gallons you know just needed to be put in the ground this is jakarta 
very thick mango. Beautiful. And right here is, I believe, lemon zest. Yeah, lemon zest. Lemon zest. Now I got all these mangoes from my friend Lee from West Palm Beach. Really good deal on these mangoes. Could not resist it for the size. And you know, they just needed uh, to be planted in an area where they could grow. I so, said, you know, let's bring them to the farm. Right here, adjacent to it is another row. So let me just show you. Uh, let me just show you from right here. As you see, these are my coconuts. Beautiful, I can't wait till they are fruiting. That's the first mango row I just showed you. In the front, this is a second mango row, a new one that I added yesterday as well. Uh, Pickering mango, Pickering. Beautiful, already pushing on good growth right over here. Now these mangoes are gonna be trained to be a uh, very medium-sized canopy, open canopy ice cream, another great mango that I love. And these mangoes are gonna, you know, be trained to fruit at uh, a very nice stature, sweetheart. Beautiful mango. Oh, this one I can't wait. I haven't tried it, but I heard nothing but good stuff. Sugar loaf. Beautiful. Right here, I put a dwarf namwa. Dwarf namwa. Another dwarf namwa. This is a lemon meringue. Mango. Another one that was just needed to be planted in the ground. Overgrown. Right next to it is a Thai green wax shampoo, long wax shampoo, the, the green variety. Haven't tasted that one, but it's, it sounds awesome. This is the Tony Morrison red jackfruit, grafted. Uh, Tony Morrison red, it's a kind of orangish, reddish jackfruit, tastes delicious. My friend recommended it, Leaf. He said it was uh, great tasting jackfruit, the only one you need, she said. So I can't wait for that one. And, uh, we go on. As you know, I planted this lychee right here because I intend for it to get big. It did get damaged by the cold snap we had. The leaves were just very premature and I planted it at a very bad time, but you know, I can't really, uh, as you see, the mature leaves are not damaged, so it's okay. It'll grow out of it. And uh, you see this go on because I planted so much. That's a Pitomba banana. Pitomba, beautiful. And uh, as you see, <laughs> We still have Barbados cherries. But let's, let's go on to what I planted. You see the yucca is growing very nice everywhere. But this is actually zinc mango, I believe. Zinc, also known as uh, Indonesian Chinese, I believe. And right over here, oh, I forgot what this one is. I believe this was a pineapple pleasure, or I'm not too sure, I forgot. Oh, I forgot that one. Uh, but here we have another banana. This is, uh, I believe, Patomba. I'm not too sure. Right here, black sapote planted. This is uh, raw honey. Raw honey mango. Cannot wait for this one. This is a beautiful one. Uh, Thai jumbo jujube. It's going to be nice. It has a lot of sun. And right back here, that's a pomelo. Here I planted a sour sap and melana. Oh, this one's gonna get big, beautiful. I'm gonna create a microclimate with the tall namwas right here, so it's gonna look nice in the in the future with all the mangoes and everything. As you see, look, look at that view. It's beautiful when it's young, but you know, in the future, it's gonna look nice, nice, nice and abundant. Right back here, I put an ice cream bean. Now this is another ice cream bean was in that pot right there. Overgrown ice cream, ice cream bean, ignivera. This thing is huge. Look at this. Look at this uh, chunk, thick, huge. So I'm gonna let it grow here and it's basically just gonna grow out and tower all of this. Eventually this is gonna be a only tree here, towering all this. So it has enough space to kind of tower out and uh, you know, go crazy. So guys, thank you so much for watching this update. And if you didn't know, tomorrow I'll be in Colombia. I can't wait to show you guys all the fruit I'll be eating there in my farm. All my exotic fruits over there. These are the Malayan dwarf coconuts that I still have to plant. I have two more over there I have to plant. So yeah, guys.
hopefully the next time we will uh you know we'll come here everything will be still growing so beautiful so well i want to show you one more thing look at this jibori kabu bro it's beautiful this is a sabra sabara that dropped this morning, I believe. I have more coming. And right over here, look at this, the beautiful star fruits. Oh, you know, I hope, I hope they're still here when I get here, when I get back. They might ripen up and fall off, I'm not sure. Or they might be ready for me, so I can't wait. And look at this thing, it's loaded. Going beautifully here at the farm. So I just wanted to show this part of the farm. This is the front. And uh, these are my lychees, the emperor. Marushis. See the new growth still beautiful. This is the uh, BQ long gone. As you see, it's pushing on new growth. Very beautiful. These actually are doing better than the ones on the full sun. So I, I guess the microclimate is very much appreciated in this case. Look at that beautiful BQ long gone. This one's a nice size as well, very thick trunk. Can't wait to. Uh, you know, until we start getting fruit from that one. This is another Marushius. Oh, almost tripped. Marushius lychee. Uh, and this new growth was not affected as much as the one out there. The lonely one, I feel so bad. The lychees out there are lonely. And the long gone, this is the koala. This one didn't get affected as bad, although it did get on some leaves the burn damage from the new growth. But the older, older growth is, as you see, untouched unfazed so just wanted to give you guys an update just you know so i can know and you know you can know too how the farm is doing again we'll go over here the cercropia is another one that i want to show uh, to show before i leave there's the fruit beautiful beautiful cercropia fruit and the new growth this one apparently grows very fast, but as you know, I planted it in the winter time. <laughs> uh, and it does, it did get a little bit of cold damage. Uh, the night I planted it, it actually got really cold. It actually grew, dropped down to the uh, 45s or something. So it did suffer some damage, but it's okay. You know, it's still going. And I'm really hoping that, um, you know, that we can keep that one. So I forgot, some of you guys are wondering about how the breadfruit was doing and I'll show you now. So actually I'll be leaving tomorrow and, and actually next week, or not next week, in a few days actually on Thursday, I believe it drops down to the 40s, I believe 45 or 50, something like that. So I'm kind of concerned for my breadfruit because that one, is like super ultra sensitive i've heard from from you guys thank you for telling me and so it's right back here so i just want to show you it did suffer a little damage from the nights i did planting because i like i said the night i planted it actually dropped down very very cold as you see the new growth that is pushing is very uh it's trying to come out but as you know it's been kind of cold but the damage is right here as you see the leaves kind of crumpled up right there when it got cold as well as right here you can notice the, the little brown spots at the tip and it doesn't seem like the newer growth was as badly affected but as you could tell you know the damage right there so we're gonna hope and pray for this one as i said it's in a nice microclimate protected and kept warm by these trees as well as see these right here um so yeah guys Thank you so much for watching. 
I have to get going. I have to go home and get ready for my trip to Colombia tomorrow. And it's very sentimental leaving this farm for three weeks. But I have my friends coming to look after for me, so they're gonna help me plan some things and you know keep an eye on it. Uh, you know, water everything. So thank you guys for watching. Can't wait to show you guys what's in Colombia. I'm sure you will like it. So bye farm. <laughs> Here I am leaving it for three weeks. And you know, my friends taking care of it, but I can't wait to come back and see how everything grows. And oh, look at my coconuts. So, you know, I can't wait. I'm gonna have a great time in Colombia. Alrighty.